سوا زاد اه سيدنا محيح اه It's like 1130 or something like that. Uh, how many of you guys have paid any attention to the crucifixion story? Like close. Really, really close attention. You know, it's like the little thing. Read it like it was a movie trailer, or whatever. You know. What's what are all the nuances of this story? When the uh, curtain in the temple was torn. It was torn from the top down. That's not really all that impressive. I don't get it. The temple wasn't damaged. There was an earthquake in the curtain. It was torn from the top down. Interesting curtain was made out of wool felt. It's three foot thick. It's pliable. Put a felt hat and a paint shaker for three hours on high, it ain't gonna fall apart. I don't think it's gonna tear either. The Jews did not crucify Christ. The Romans did not crucify Christ. There is no blame for the crucifixion of Christ. There is no race of people, no tribe of people, no government that possesses the blame now then or ever for the crucifixion of Christ Christ bore our sins to the cross where he sacrificed himself as a blood atonement for our sins. Our sins, not his. Our sins, the sins he bore to the cross. Now, don't write that word. It's because it said it could be done in the law. The law and the prophet said that's the way it's going to be. The curtain was torn from the top down. God, Yah, the Father, tore it as he left the temple, as his presence left the temple of you. He didn't need anymore. He sure didn't want to talk to anybody on this planet for a few days. Because he was in mourning. And therein lies the proof of God's love for the people on this planet lost and saved alike.
me he's God. He knows everything, right? He knew what his son died for. He had to be without the presence of a part of him. He had to be without a piece of himself that had been formed in the womb of a woman and grew to be everything he had hoped for all mankind. The one human that made it all the way from beginning to end without missing the mark. He had to watch him down the cross. He had to let him down the cross. For people. And then after he died on the cross, the one being that could make us cease to exist. We were never here. The one being that could take it back to a point where it never happened. Didn't. Because he wants us with him for whatever reason. I'll never understand why God wants to save us. Not real clear on the mosquito thing. Things I think about. back to the blame thing don't don't spend so much effort trying to prove you're not denomination the right denomination let's quit arguing about predestination uh, once saved always saved tongues tithing uh, what kind of food we can eat what kind of food we can't eat I don't do Christmas. I, I do very few of the Christian holidays because, well, they're not Christian holidays. But I'm not going to, like, spend all my time arguing with you about it. Why? If God wants you to know, he'll let you know. Just be listening. Like me with bacon. I'm seriously thinking about quitting eating bacon. Because, what? Why did he make it against the rules? I think I know. But I have no way of knowing. And does it matter? I mean, there's scripture that say that, that rule don't apply anymore. Why would it apply then and not now? It's been time to read. I love it when we're talking about God and all the little animals. Don't get, they're just like they're not scared anymore. I've had birds fly up and land on me. That's completely squirrel. I just chased a squirrel all around this place. Do not sweat the small stuff. When God gets to know you, everybody knows God. Satan knows God. All Satan's little minions know God. They know Jesus. They know his face. They know his spirit. They know his aura. They know everything about him. They know his word inside and out. They're scared of him. But they know him. It's when Christ gets to know you. He opens that book. And your name's in there. Then you know you've done it. I don't think there's a magic prayer for it. I don't think there's a magic way of life. I think it depends on what's in here. Matter of fact, I know it depends on what's in here. 
is the guy inside, is the gal inside, is the essence inside of your little fleshly shell, my little fleshly shell. Hungering for, thirsting after, diligently seeking to be known by Christ. And in being known by Christ, known by God the Father. It's all that matters. You can be purple. You can be one of them blue people from Tennessee. You can be a long-haired, hippie, redneck dude with a gray beard and a funny-looking hat. Why don't I get rid of my hat again? It don't matter. I don't see the outside. We need to quit seeing the outside. Everybody. If I want an egg, if I don't want any weeds. <laughs> I'll just say it. See, I miss this guy. Anyway. Let God get to know you. Don't call on his name in vain. Don't sweat the small stuff. Live your life. Do your sincere best to follow after Christ. Don't try to blame people. Because things ain't bad. Just see where that gets you. Y'all have a good day. I have to go get that egg before the dog does. I have to finish tearing down that little builder right there so I can fix that wall. Y'all have a good day.